Cal has reunited with his old friend Rufus on the planet Boreas. Now, he and Rufus are making their way to an abandoned communication center in the hopes of discovering the location of the final Judger artifact. What the? Shit, the door is blocked. I'll meet you up ahead. Go on without me. What am I looking for? A room with a huge screen. Keep your radio open. I'll guide you through it.
What the hell are those things? Rufus, think I found the room you were talking about. The big screen says system offline. Right. Well, first of all, we're going to have to set the antennas so they chase your signal. If Yelena can transfer the signal frequencies or dictate them to you, you can calibrate the frequency mainframe, which is in the next room. Talk it out with Yelena. I'm kind of busy here. Yelena, do you read? I need... I'm already on it, Commander. Follow my markers. I'll give you the frequencies when we reach the mainframe. Elena! Yes, I found that mainframe. Good. Activate it. And I'll transfer the subspace signal frequencies. Now, all you need to do is trigger the triangulation process from the control room. Aw, oh, come on! What's wrong, Cal? The power just went off. Again. What the hell did you do down there? Nothing. The power went off after I calibrated the mainframe. The system hasn't been started in years. Probably just overloaded. Simple restart ought to do the trick. Uploading markers. Good.
functional. Let's see about this artifact of yours. I'm back in the control room. Everything seems to be up and functional. What next? Next is you pressing the big magic button on the control panel. You can't miss it. One says that's the toy for which you and your lady are looking. Perfect. Thanks. Let's not crack open the champagne yet. We still got a ways to go. We? You think I intend to slink back to my watering hole and miss out on the jolly times ahead? Your call, but our deal was just for the- Cow, as fun as it is to lose myself to inebriation while debating intergalactic politics of bygone eras with old convicts waiting in bars for their time to die. I think I'd rather shoot at things with my old friend. Yelena! We've got coordinates, and we're en route to the artifact. Prepare evac. Roger that. There's an old mech compound nearby, if we're lucky. Say no more. Transmitting the coordinates for the mech compound. I'll meet you outside. Oh, 
in my face! Ugh. Doors on lockdown now. Shutting down the main generator might reset the locking mechanisms. Paralyze the power modules. Good! Now blast that generator! People don't give my genius the credit it so blatantly deserves. Let's move. Get your head down! Get your head down! 
into ending our lives right now, and you want to talk about a girl I knew on Theta? What do you want to talk about? Nothing! Was it Rachel? Rufus? Remember her friend, the one with the... Well, you know. With the what? You know, the spectacular... Remember, and we were all out one night. We snuck on the base, and I was trying to show off, and I ended up blowing one of our comp satellites up in orbit, remember? And the whole night sky, it was like a freaking oil painting all of a sudden, you remember? Was it Megan? Was there a Megan? Cal? I don't know her name. I never did. What the hell do you mean? She never told me her name. You're kidding me! Am not. You were with her for what? Like months? A year? Something like that. And you never learned her name. That's right. What the hell did you call her that? I don't know. Her name. Whatever crossed my mind. She answers all of them. That's kind of messed up. That was kind of her thing. Close, but not close. But close. So whatever happened to us? War broke out. We left Theta. That's what happened. Ever think you're going back? What? Track her down? Call her up? Hey, same thing. That's right. Thought about it. Stay on time. Then Then you say, hey, you with no name. Let's go grab the back. What you mean? What? Okay, and after that? Then you eat the nachos. One of the three. Go back to our place. Meet her parents. Get married. Are you serious? Yeah, make some little babies. Move to one of those eight, seven moons. Finally, get some peace and break it quiet. Then you're on it, staring into those green eyes. Eight, seven moons, you said? Yeah. Those are those artificial moons you like, right? Love them. They split up some paradise. Who are we talking about here, Rufus? You or me? What's the difference, mate? Right, right.
I'll drive, you handle the gun. Holy big gap. Don't worry, I know a shortcut. Rufus? Rufus! Ha ha ha! Whoa! Alterites are more entertaining than the low lives. Speaking of low lives, heads up! You are too late, Gal Warden. You! I've been dying to have a word with you! The artifact you seek is now in Volterite hands. As we converse, it is being transported to Volteron to be reappropriated into a devastating weapon of catastrophic power. Yeah, yeah, we'll get back to that in a sec. Tell me this, before you told Yelena, who knew about the Boreas artifact? Only the Judger Council possessed the information you mentioned. Then maybe you can explain how the Volterites stayed a few steps ahead of us during this goose chase. How is it that everywhere I go, there they are? How did they even know about this artifact? What you are suggesting is... What I'm suggesting is that you judges should do some house cleaning. One of you is helping the Volterites build that weapon of catastrophic power. A judger would never do such as you describe. We are impartial. We observe. We correct. We balance. Yeah? Well, maybe this is someone's idea of a correction. It was your people who first recovered one of the artifacts. Your people who activated it, alerting the Volterites to its very existence and potential. And what about the other two? The artifact on Therius? The one here on Boreas? Who alerted the Volterites to those? Your words are the words of a being scrambling to shake off the shackles of blame, Cal Warden. My message to you is simple. 
listen to me. It is you who will listen, for I speak as the voice of the judges, and we shall be heard. If the weapon on Volteron becomes functional, we will be forced to pass judgment upon your races. We will find you both guilty of endangering the very fabric of this universe. With our goal being the protection of life and the integrity of this dimension, we shall be forced to sentence you both to oblivion. What the hell are you saying? We shall forever erase all traces of both human and Volterite civilizations, rendering it as though neither of your two young races ever evolved. Ha! I assure you that such a measure is well within our power, and we will not hesitate to see this through. You could stop this! If you're so powerful, if you wanted to, you could stop the Volterites from building that weapon! Indeed we could. But you are the ones who must prove that you have the strength and the resolve to stop yourselves from pushing the galaxy to the brink of destruction. You must demonstrate that you have it in you to correct your mistakes. Only then will we show you clemency. Travel to Volteron and destroy the weapon. Do this, and the future might yet hold a place for you. Do not, and you will be erased from history. What do you choose, Cal Warden? What kind of sick super being sits back and twiddles its thumbs while the little guys run around and do their dirty work? We need an answer from you, and we need it now. Fine. Good. Your decision pleases us. There may still be hope for humans and Volterites. But Prometheus... Yes, Cal Warden. When it's all said and done, when the dust settles... Yes. You're going to teleport me to Theta, and you're going to get me one of those H7 moons. I'm going to settle down there and... Get a dog, start a family or something, and then you're all gonna leave me the hell alone. 